thing here because we actually have to say goodbye to somebody. And that mm. person is Brandon Crawford. Mm. Yeah. I mean, we've been saying goodbye to him since September or October, pretty much. But now we officially have to say goodbye to him. So B. Craw signs the two-year deal after the... Uh, I don't. I don't think he was. I mean, he was near MVP, but he wasn't like in the top three of MVP. But he had an excellent year in 2021. Comes back for 2022 and 2023, and he's just old. He's not. You could tell the athleticism is somewhat leaving him. And we all thought, you know, he was going to retire. But it's not like they did the farewell B cross stuff that they've done. That you could have you could have thought that they would have done in the in, if they thought he was retiring. So I think they kind of knew, okay, you know, we don't want to force this guy out. You know, maybe he's still undecided. And lo and behold, we were talking about why he doesn't fit on this team. You know, you have the next guy. You don't want B Craw, the fan favorite, to you know take reps from someone like Luciano. And he signs with the uh, St. Louis. You know, St. I just thought about this. St. Louis has taken some of our our old guys in the past you know will clark he didn't he didn't go directly from san francisco to st louis but he ended up on a cardinals team you know if you remember um there's another there's another recent player that I, i'm i'm oh jack clark not not recent but jack clark remember jack clark got yeah. traded to the Both cardinals. clarks and mike matheny too right he ended mm -hmm. up not only catching there but he was a manager there as well so, you know, nice little spot. I mean, it's a good organization. I don't know if they're going to, you know, be in the hunt, but I think they come to San Francisco to end the season or something like that. That's yeah. interesting. That's interesting. But as I've said on Twitter, I don't, I don't know if Brandon Crawford will be on the team at that point. Um, and, and again, that's kind of the main thing. Okay. So Farhan's job is to what? Win to build a winning organization. Um, it's been now 10 years since our last world series championship. Um, that's still a tall task and you can't hang on to a guy who was on that championship last time they won it 10 years ago, just to fill a roster spot, to be a mentor to the infielders. Um, play you know second base shortstop third base they basically just got a mentor in matt chapman and you've got matt williams so you've got two guys that can help the infield they've been around a long time matt chapman has won gold gloves platinum gloves matt williams was a fantastic third baseman i don't ever remember has matt williams won a gold glove i want to say 1993 yeah, yeah, I feel like right. I feel like most of the most of the infield won a gold glove that year. That's right, he did. <laughs> yes, so so he's also a gold glove. So you've got guys who can do that, and yes, Brandon Crawford would be great for that. But that twenty sixth spot in the roster, you could have a guy like Tyler Fitzgerald, mm -hmm. who is fast, mm -hmm. who is young, who can play shortstop, he can play third base, he can play second base, he can play center field, which he did last year for the Giants at the end of the season. So all of these things are true with Tyler Fitzgerald, and you're getting younger, and you're getting faster. Um, I'm, you know, I, I'm a cancer, so I'm very, uh, you know, nostalgic about things and sentimental about things. I don't have a problem with this move at all. It had to be done. He wasn't going to, and, and, and that's the other thing too. He said, you all come back. You know, I, I want a roster spot. And Farhan said, well, you can come back as a non roster or basically a, 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 on a minor league deal and try to win a spot like everybody else, because the last two seasons were extremely rough for Brandon Crawford and for giants fans to watch him go through that. Um, Cause that was the toughest part. I, I was one of the first people in denial during last season to say, no, he's going to bounce back. He's going to come around. He's Brandon Crawford. Remember two years ago, 2021, yeah. he had that fantastic season, got a two year deal. So I'm, I'm one of those ones who just kept hanging on and hanging on and hanging on. But by the end of the season, I was like, yeah, this has got to go. I mean, it's, 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 it's got to end. And I was hoping he would retire just to kind of call it a day, but now it's going to be one of those, on Twitter in 10 years, you're going to be, uh, you know, show me a picture of a random player who was yeah. on one team for one year, but nobody remembers. That's going to be 
Brandon Crawford in a Cardinals uniform. Yeah. Um, just like Daryl Strawberry in a Giants uniform. <laughs> um, I always like to throw that one out whenever I see that on Twitter. Um, but yeah, so 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 the Giants kind of filled that. They, they already knew, like, hey, we're probably bringing in Chapman. They've got Nick Ahmed, who's also you know, four years younger and has one gold glove. So he can also be a mentor. Um, and he's a, on a minor league deal trying to, trying to win a spot, just like Farhan was hoping to do again. Farhan's job is to win ball games, um, and to win championships and to build a winner and to build up the minor league system. So, um, don't have a problem with the move, but again, hate to see it go have to hate to see things go this way. I'd like to have seen Brandon Crawford just walk away and, 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 and retire and then end up on the the wall of fame next year. Um, but we're not going to get that for a couple more years. Yeah. I guess he's got a five-year-old kid who he just wants to show that, you know, he's still a ball player and yeah. I, I can, I can as a father, I can see that drive, right? Absolutely. We, we understand that drive.